Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? Happy Father's Day, y'all. Um, it was a great day. I spent all, all day with my kids, my new puppy. Uh, it was a fun day. Uh, lots to catch up on. Uh, did a uh, stream with Liam, the champion from Best Ball on Underdog, which was pretty fun. As you can see, that was the DK champ, so that's it was fun to do an uh do an hour with Liam and talk talk shop. Get another person to dog on my uh, strategy. It's totally fine. <laughs> Everybody, nobody likes my strategy, but that's okay. I like it. It won me a million. So, and everybody's dogging on like DraftKings and whatnot, but they didn't win DraftKings. So, <laughs> and honestly, honestly, the only person that. I could, you know, hear some trash talk from would be Herzig and everybody else. Uh, I had like the perfect lineup. I don't know. I just it's funny to me when people talk bad about DraftKings, but in all reality, it's it's just another contest. Just if Underdog had run the same contest, I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I'm a, maybe I'm a boomer and just don't understand why. Uh, why things are different. I don't know. Maybe it's my boomerism. Let's see here. We are... I was going to try to uh, do the uh, draft IQ from Spike Week, but I don't know if it, it's going to show you my like, personal stuff, so let's, let's find, take a look. Uh, log in before I share it. <laughs> Man, I would love to sleep more, but there's just not enough time in the day. Uh, can I move me? I don't understand how they are able to. Do I shift? Nope. Uh, cap blocks. Nope. I want to be over here. No? How do they do that? Control shift. Oh. How? I don't know. I, I, I honestly, I still, still understand how they are able to Move this. It's so crazy to my brain. I'm, I'm a boomer. I don't know. <laughs> Too stupid. Uh, wait, what is my backer? Nothing. Okay, it's just me. Oh, it took me out of there. I'm big. Two people. Just me? Okay. All right. I, I still don't get it. Good, good, good for them to know how to use a computer. All right. Draft IQ. How to sync your best ball data. How to sync your blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I hit that. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, okay, there it is. Okay. Download. Right, okay. In the upper right hand corner. To... 
Go to Chrome extensions. Get that recorder. Go to. Uh, what's that? Extensions. Okay. Uh, hit that. Hit developer mode. In the upper left hand corner, select the title load unpacked. Dude, I am blind. What? Probably over here. Okay. Okay, we need to we need to make this. Hey, you calm down. Okay, I need to figure out what to do after that because I do not know. Spike with extension. Okay. Downloads. Uh, this PC. Does not count. Okay, you need to calm down. Maybe now I can find it. I do not know. I hit so because the now you should have six three. I do not. So I did something wrong. I did all that. It's manifest file is missing or unreadable. Could not load manifest. Retry. Okay, let's see. Maybe I did something wrong with this part. Load on back. Cool, it's one of my extensions now. Okay. Okay, now what am I supposed to do? Okay. Go on instruction by instruction here. Sync underdog fantasy. Log into your underdog account. Got it. Uh, should I share that? No, I should leave it on the instructions. Okay. Or maybe I should share that. Just share. I don't know. Maybe it's private data. Let's. I don't know. So let's go to the completed. Completed. Okay. If you have a spike root browser, underneath the NFL upper left, you should see click to get Miami's first spike root. Where? Reread. 
go to the complete title complete. If you have this bike we installed underneath, let's make sure that I have it installed. Let's just go to extensions. There we go. Underdog completed. Okay, what am I supposed to do? Sorry. <laughs> if you session so underneath the under fell underneath the NFL in the upper left, you should see see the phrase. Click to get lands for spike week. Click that link. I do not see that. Maybe I should close out underdog, open it back up. I am coming up to a confusion. I do not see that. So mine does not look like their thing. Do I need to do something? How about we log out and then retry? Log out. Sign in. Completed. Hmm. Let's try the NFL. Let's see here. What does it say about DraftKings? Hey everyone, so I'm going to be demonstrating how to use the Spike Week browser extension for DraftKings. Mm -hmm. so if you're logged into DraftKings and you're at your My Contest tab, you will see a new button here that says uh, click to get lineups for Spike. Where? So when you click on that, what uh. it's going to start doing is it's going to go through all of your best ball lineups. So this is just looking at best ball tournaments. And it's going to go through all those lineups and do exactly what you would do. Uh, write down every single pick that was made and save that off so that you can start doing calculations based off that. So let's go ahead and click the button. Now notice if you have not signed in yet using your Spike Week credentials, uh, it's going to ask you for your username and password for Spike Week. So go ahead and click that. And uh, you'll get a pop-up whether it's successful or not. And then from there you can actually <laughs> click it. And notice that it's... Hold up. I guess I already automatically signed me in. Can I get that log out, log in? Can I copy this? No, okay. Well, let's make sure I know my login. I'll stop sharing this real quick.
I don't know my login for <laughs> already. Man, I got a lot of passwords. I just put in there. Okay. Maybe my caps lock was on. Maybe my caps was on. Let's see here. Sign was successful. Sorry about that. Draft IQ. Can you guys hear that? Too fast. <laughs> okay. In your trapped IQ. And uh, so once it once it's through with that, uh, the information will be ingested into Spike Week, and then uh, Spike Week will do some calculations. Uh, so it could take uh, anywhere roughly from from uh, twenty minutes to to. A, to an hour to get your get all of your data depending how many drafts you did so if, if this was the first draft the first time that you're uploading and you have a lot of drafts then you know you can expect this to take a little bit of time uh, so notice we have okay linus has been sent uh, so we're everything's good to go now so you might get an error message there and if you do then you can reach out to, to support otherwise uh, your lineups are there and, uh, so you'll be able to see them in the, the draft iq all right. Thank you. Thank you. Let's, let's see if my lineups are in there. Am I a boomer or am I a boomer? Draft or draft kings? Exposures. Okay, so I don't know exactly what I'm. Nope. Account address. Hmm. I don't think I did something. <laughs> I don't think I did something. My buddy Ro lives out in Clayton. It's so crazy. I, I uh, we go out to Riverwood for all the all the uh, yard deals. That's so awesome. And he lives over by a very delicious Mexican place that we just found called Mescalito. Ooh, we like it. It's a little it's a little pricey, but it's good. That'd be fun to catch up, and that'd be. I don't have any friends out here, so. So that'd be fun. Oh my goodness, what am I looking at on my thing? Holy cow. 
Can I make it that small? What is that really what it looks like right now? Okay. That's just because I have it put to the side here. Nobody's posting comments. Stream art. I am all by myself. I don't know how to close it. So we're out here looking at the tools. Hey everyone, I released a bug fix for the browser extension. Thank you, Bug Watch. It will be sending in slow drafts that are reset for the first time. Please do that with the new extension. Move over the existing extension, restart with the browser. Thank you. Okay. So, that's already. Click to send. Oh, okay. Click to send. Sending new contest one to fifty four eleven fifty four. Wish I could just say, "Hey, start sharing this screen instead of stop sharing it." Then I have to go back and so so I want to remove share stop share share screen Chrome tab. My contest. So it's sending new contest 81 of 54. Double check spike week, make this sure there's nothing. Draft is. I really don't understand exactly what's going on. Sending one of 38 draft boards for Papaya. Can I make that bigger? Because I don't know what that says. So, how was everybody's Father's Day? Mine was great. As I said earlier, me and Charlie went to... We went to... Uh, we went to... See, it was like year... And then yesterday we got a puppy. I've been working a crazy amount of overtime. Oh, also, I, I talked about Liam's uh, stream. I never brought up the Battle Royale. That might have been the most fun draft I have ever done. And that's like all home leagues put together. Uh, it was a bunch of content creators and smart people. And... And I know they're smart because they were drafting a bunch of the players that I like. And I don't typically, you know, have to worry about really stretching to get my players because they typically fall to me. I was I had to go like an extra round or two early on Nico because I all the rest of my picks have been taken. I did get Elisha Moore. Okay, maybe I can pull that up. Get rid of this one. I uh, don't want to exit out of it. Underdog. Actually, let's log out. Let's try it one more time, see if it's there. Drafts completed. Yeah, it's not there. <laughs> okay, so an account. Whatever. How do I log okay. out? Exit out of it. Time in.
Mm. Nope, not there. Eleven of thirty eight draft boards completed. Oh, maybe I should do that. Oh, should bring this back over here. You have this new dialogue that says click to get line of perspective. So you know, go ahead and click that. And at this point, we have not entered our spike week credentials yet. So it's necessary to be logged in Spike Week so that you can send your uh, your Linus back to them. So put in your username and password. Uh, go ahead and click sign in and, and it'll uh, authenticate. And uh, if, if it's successful, there you go. And you can know that it's successful. And you come back here. And now you can click off. And notice that as it's going through the process, uh, so the first thing that it's doing is, is it's basically automating what you would be doing of clicking through the website and going to every single team, writing down this player was drafted in this spot, this player in that spot. So uh, depending on how many lineups you have, uh, the first time that you do this, uh, it's going to have to go through every single lineup. Uh, so it's going to take a while the first time. But once you've done it once, uh, Spike Week will tell it, hey, don't give me these lineups that you've already done. So. You can see it's doing some work right now, so so we'll uh, come back in a minute. And uh, so now now you see that it's uh, starting to get the so now now it's getting actually the the slow drafts that I'm doing right now as well and, and getting the progress on that. So uh, so it, it just shows you the progress as it's as it's going. So if, if you don't see anything happening, uh, there there could be something wrong. And uh, for the most part, we tried to put in an error message for you if that's the case. Uh, but it's possible that there's there's something we could happen that could be happening that we miss. So now at this point, it has gone through, clicked on all the pages, said, "Okay, I know what your lineups are, and if if you want to send them a spike week so that you can view your portfolio in the portfolio IQ, then you click here, and it's going to start start uh, sending them over. And uh, so right now for for me, it's it's going relatively quickly because th this isn't the first time that I've uh, uploaded my lineups to Spike Week. But as I said, the first time you do this, this is going to be a, it's, it's going to take a while. Uh, so please don't don't refresh the page while that's happening. And uh, at that point, you can you know, go get into an underdog draft while you're waiting. Or go do some exercise or whatnot. <laughs> but when, when you come back, that will be uploaded. And uh, who we're you talking, know, I can get along with this guy. The spike week side is that once the lineups are in, uh, we can crunch all the data so you can find out uh, you know, what what your what your uh, playoff stack percentages are and uh, your team stack percentage and all that good stuff that we're going to show you on the, the draft IQ page. So there you go. It's, so if you get this final screen, that means good to go, no errors. And at that point, um, depending on how many lineups you had uh, within the next Why do I have minutes to, to an hour refresh or the page. within the next it's 10 so minutes, funny. Uh, all your updates will be in there. Okay, okay, so I don't know if it's just me, but maybe I, maybe I don't and didn't read it. Okay, so if you have not any extension, and just uh, using Spike Week after a while. Yeah. Okay. So what worked for me, uh, I was on the page and it, it wasn't doing anything. Not that they're doing anything wrong. It's probably me. But what I do, I just pulled it all down. Um, let's go to full screen me for a second. I change this, share this, stop screen, share that, share screen, Chrome tab, 
Uh, underdog completed. Okay. So when I was before it was doing anything, I just hit refresh and it popped up. And it clearly, I mean, I have the one right next to it and there's, you know, it doesn't have that on there. I'm curious if I hit refresh on that, it, it'll pop up. Yep, it popped up. That's awesome. So on my DraftKings, it's 26 of 38. I haven't touched drafters yet. Like I'm, not, I'll, I'll probably just wait till that's done. Um, yeah, I was gonna do a better video today, but I don't know. It's uh, it's been a long day. <sighs> Let's talk about it. Let's talk. Let me pull up my team. I'm not going to do it on there because I don't want it to get buggy. Uh, so if you've been thinking about, you know, doing the draft key or the draft IQ from Spike Week, this was a tutorial of sorts by an idiot. <laughs> uh, that was fun. That was interesting. Uh, I tried to listen and do with the videos and the website told me, and I think I got it down or find out here in a little bit, but let's go over the two teams that I drafted with Liam and the other with, and the other with, uh, the spike week, uh, championship belt. Uh, let's log in. I don't know if I log in, but we'll figure it out. Hopefully it's with the classic. Cool. Why does it look so flashing so clean? Have I been missing it? It didn't look like this. It must have updated. Completed. I have so many. <laughs> I have so many slow drafts on right now. I just realized my light was on. Watch my face. It's gonna blow up. Uh, I look so much better, healthier. Uh, okay, best ball mania. I did one earlier, so I probably won't be it. My boy John Kelly was doing a, a a cardio draft, and he needed some people in there. And I've been there where I'm doing my cardio, and there's not people filling it up. So I was like, I can't leave him hanging. Uh, that's not it. I I did a cardio draft this morning. Let's see here. Let's see. Uh, and my fat fingers hitting it over and over again. Okay, so that one should be this one. What am I thinking? It's on his, on his thing. I didn't even do it. Uh, it's on my Twitter though. So I can pull that up. I'm like, man, I don't know where it is. All I see are mine. Goofball. Okay, go to mine. Uh, profile, tweets and replies. Who we at? Let's be bragging, bragging. Did update my thing. Uh, show this thread. Okay, well, just go to his page. He tweets a lot. I don't, all these people, man, they're, they're all over their Twitter game, man. I am not as good about that. I know I have a lot of picks to do. There we go. So we had Lamar and Winston. So we have some kind of points coming through Winston. And then. We have the upside, the high upside of a top five potential player at quarterback with Lamar. We have Najee, Saquon Barkley, and Javante Williams. We are going to fill out the first two slots of our running back and potentially our flex at a high end. So our floor 
is higher than everybody else's in this league, hands down. And then we got Rashad White, Hassan Haskins. If things are going wrong for the Titans and things are going wrong for the Cowboys, think about Haskins that last game, man. It's going to look pretty. Then we got Bateman for the Najee Harris Lamar Jackson Week 17 game. Weird combo. It's not like right off the rip, so not, maybe not everybody is playing it. Um, then we got the Devontae, Javante Williams going with MVS. You know, they could shoot off a little bit. Uh, Raiders went to San Francisco. I don't think we had any San Francisco. I was in a weird spot. I didn't have my rankings up on uh, – should I pop up? Uh, just seeing whether I – and uh, so it's like kind of weird. I was in a weird spot right there. Seeing 74, I don't know who's exactly on my, my list. We probably would have went Hawkinson, to be honest. I know it's a little early for Hawkins in there, but that's probably what I would have went with had I been in that spot. Uh, MVS, Tyler Lockett. We got Michael Thomas. I don't have too much Michael Thomas. And then seeing that video, I'm probably not going to get too much more. Not that I probably, you know, if he shows something in the preseason, not that I won't flip a switch right there. I, I mean, I believe in Michael Thomas' talent. He was in a lot of my teams, but. I don't want to get burned twice. I don't want to look stupid more than once. Uh, Tyler Lockett for the high upside weekly. You know, at any week he can just pop off or three catches in a uh, two hundred and thirty yards or something like that. You know what I mean? Like he has that potential. We got Jameson Williams. So this team should make the playoffs based on you know four of our picks. Uh if they make it, Detroit's got some good, good, some good, uh, some good teams to face off against, and I think the the Lions are going to be surging up towards that look like, that latter half of the season. And so, and then I got we got David Bell who's been working out of the slot. Didn't get any kind of runbacks with these guys, but it's okay. Uh, Belis Jones to go against our uh, Jameson Williams. Williams week seventeen. And then Fire Muth, more of my pick there. And Kasiki was naturally not on my radar. And then Taysom Hill, who knows, you know, who's playing week quarterback at week 17. And, or maybe there's some, some kind of connection, maybe, with Winston and him. Who knows? Who are they playing that week? New Orleans is playing Philly, so we have no Philly. I don't know why we went so hard in New Orleans, but maybe he likes New Orleans. It was a team up draft, you know. I'm like, it's not every pick is going to be what I pick. I want a little bit of. I want it to go both ways. I didn't want it to just be me. And then for the draft of the Spike Week Championship, the one that I'm going to win, take them this belt and become the Spike Week Order champion. Let's take a look at the team. Get out of here. I know I have another team up to draft on the slow draft. Only 22 of those to do before bed. I love the projections. I always hate my teams, dude. But in all reality... Matic had the lowest. That's so crazy. I didn't have the lowest. I think it's because all my picks were getting taken, to be honest. But I, I guess I'm just a high T drafter these days because uh, we went Najee Harris, obviously. I mean, there's a prop. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, hold, you know, these people who like to bet the overs, I want to bet the overs with you. So, yeah, we were, we were hitting Najee. And then uh, we hit Mixon and Chubb. Well, obviously, he, Chubb fell five picks ass past ADP. Mixon was five picks ass past ADP. I am not passing on all that value at running back, especially early. Like, I don't know. You're you're talking to the wrong guy to pass at that kind of value. And then I immediately went the other way and <laughs> drafted Lamar 
seven picks past uh, seven picks early, but not 10 picks early. Um, I just felt that I didn't know what kind of run we were going to get at quarterback. And I wanted the game stack anyways. I know that, that it's a dumb game stack for week 17, but you know, we kind of had that week 17 correlation in a private, <laughs> a private draft where it doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, we got Madison as my other running back, Aaron Rodgers. Obviously, week 17, <laughs> they just happened to match up. Uh, got Elijah Moore as my wide receiver one. It was tough sledding for wide receivers here, y'all. So do not judge. Do not judge me. Devontae Smith, Allen. Lazard, as Davis says. I mean, it kind of makes sense because, like, you think Hazard, Lazard. I get it. I get it. Um, da, 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 da. I don't know if I'm doing this right or wrong. <laughs> Anyways, sorry, I got distracted. I went back and started doing the uh, the stuff. Any, uh, Lazard, Lazard, um, got Joshua Palmer as my four, Alex, Pier- Alec Pierce, Nico Collins, OBJ, Kendrick Bourne, Romeo Dubs, Tylen Wallace, and then my tight ends were Dallas Goddard and Irv Smith Jr. I feel like I, th- I don't think I'm going to get last place. As long as the receivers that Aaron Rodgers throws it to are Dubs and Laz, Lazard, Palmer takes over <laughs> one of the jobs. Kendrick Bourne does his thing where he scores every like crazy every couple of weeks. And as long as Elijah Moore and Devontae Smith don't suck, they just they don't suck. Then we got a shot. We got a shot at this. Um because my, my three running backs and my quarterback studs. My two wide receivers are good. Everything else. Goddard should be good. It, see, and obviously AJ Brown's there and he's the best friends with the other guy. But that might open up some holes for Devontae Smith and Dallas Goddard. You know, I didn't get a lot of ones, but I can honestly see me winning this league by a couple hundred points as long as everybody's healthy. I mean, I got the number two wide receiver out of, you know, Baltimore. I got potential number two, maybe number three receiver in Green Bay. I got the potential number two if he comes back healthy in uh, the Rams. I got the number two in Houston, the number two in Indy, the number th- currently the number three in chart in LA. I think he'll eventually take over Keenan and be the number two there. I got the number one backup in the league. So I feel good about that team. And I feel like it may not say I'm going to win it. But the floor for my Aaron Rodgers teams are going to be high. And the spike weeks from Lamar could be very high. Let's see here. Is anything working? Sending new contests 481 of 416. At 300. 
360. Sending new contest. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, so I'm just gonna exit out of that. Maybe I'm doing this wrong. Uh, I guess the refresh button is a lot more useful than it looks. All right, let's pull this up. Let's pull this up. Um, street guard. I think I got it, y'all. I think I got it. That's not what I want to share. Let's remove. Share screen. Boom. Boom. Share screen. Make sure that it's the correct one. It's not. I don't know why it goes that way. You probably can't see nothing, so I will zoom it in. Okay. <laughs> Zero exposure. What's up? What's up? Let's look at exposures. Oh, man. Love to see it. Love to see it. What is this for? It's a best ball mania. So, uh, so it's 10, 15, 17. So it's got 17 of my teams. Hold up. Am I wrong? Pittsburgh, Baltimore, 11 stacks. Green Bay, Minnesota, 9 stacks. I mean, it seems about right. Houston and Tennessee. That's a game I definitely want to target. I bet to Baltimore. Pittsburgh, Las Vegas. Jets, Detroit. Let me think about that game, dude. It's going to blow. Uh, uh. Okay, that's good. Let's refresh to see what happens again.
Who is my highest exposure? Najee Harris. Oh, yeah, look at that. Some value on him. Put some value on his name. Yeah, look at his going like super late. Yeah, now, now I want to go. So, DraftKings is just not working for me, right? What am I doing? I want to. Sorry, I was back on DraftKings messing some stuff. I want. So that doesn't seem right. Something's not right, and I don't know exactly what. I don't think it's showing me all the teams. I'm, Well, I think this shows what it's going to show right now. Um, I think I come back tomorrow. We review this and do a – what's what's supposed to be my schedule? <laughs> I think tomorrow's usually my day off, but we might just do a video tomorrow and not, not one maybe later on this week because I'm going on vacation to Austin in a couple weeks. And it's going to be a lot of fun. What am I doing on Twitter? What is my schedule? Some Mondays are typically off. So maybe I'll, I'll do a BBM3 since I didn't do that today. And then Tuesday we'll do a drafter's draft. Sound good? Sound good? And uh, if you guys want me to review any drafts that you've done, please pull up my inbox. I, I've been doing them. I don't know if people don't like what I'm doing, but they keep sending them. So clearly I'm doing something right. So. If you want me to review your draft on stream, please send it to me. Thank you. Well, y'all, it's been fun. It's been real. It's been real fun. I will see you guys tomorrow on my next Daily Best.